Well, I appreciate the opportunity to discuss this. I think we already see that, you know, there's some tensions between us, <laughs> theologically at least. I, I'm just going to say some things quickly, especially about what Joe talked about. First Timothy 2, 4, God desires all to be saved. I don't think that we can conclude from that clearly that God visits each person with provenient grace. I agree with Joe that it is right to draw inferences from biblical texts so that we believe in the doctrine of the Trinity. But the question is, and what I doubt, is whether it is a valid inference to argue from the Scripture that provenient grace is taught. So I believe in inferences. But the question is, does Scripture clearly teach, in, by way of inference and implication, as it does the Trinity, does it clearly teach the doctrine of provenient grace? I would say no. Acts 7.53, yes, they resisted the Holy Spirit. We do not deny as Calvinists that people resist and say no. What we argue is that those whom God has chosen, those whom God has effectually called, He overcomes their resistance and draws them to Himself. I want to say something about Romans 10, 21. God spreads out His hands all day to the uh, disobedient people, inviting them to come. That's in Romans 9 through 11, which I think is our strong chapters on God's sovereignty. So we have to acknowledge that there is a tension, a biblical tension between divine sovereignty and human responsibility. I feel, I don't have time to develop this now, maybe we can work this out in questions, but I think that uh, Jerry Walls just focuses on one side of that tension and pushes it too far. But we have to account for all the biblical texts on both sides. My argument is Calvinism would do that in a more satisfying way. I want to make one more comment and give this to Dr. Ware. Ephesians 1.4 does not say that God elected Christ. It says God chose us in Christ. The object of the choosing in that text is us as believers, not Christ. So, in my opinion, Joe does not interpret that text correctly. Given our time, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Ware.